Well, they always say there's a first time for everything. And this guy died standing up. Something tells me this is going to be a very interesting hunt. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Today, we, as you can see, we're out here in beautiful Ac Africa, at Tickamoon Plains, in Way of the Hunter. And no real big plan today. We're just going to head out here, maybe thin some of our herds, and maybe, if we're lucky enough, stumble across another five-star. Our luck has been absolutely incredible, and hopefully today, me and Malachi here can continue that luck. So if you got nothing to do, why don't you jump on in? And come out with us and see what happens. Okay, we found a herd of Gemsbach, and it's a pretty unhealthy herd, and this is a good example of why herd management is so important. We have a two-star mature, a one-star mature, a one-star young, and a one-star mature. So we want to get these one-star matures out of here. So we'll just pick one. Let's see what happens here. We'll take him out and see. Maybe we can, oh, couldn't get it. But yeah, there's a perfect example why we want to get something like that out. We'll run down here and collect him. And it does take a lot of work. I've said so many times in videos, you know, you can see a six-minute video of two five-stars. You have no idea how much work or how many hours of gameplay it takes. For the most part, I mean, you do come across some initial spawns, which I have. But to get these herds right, it takes a while. And I think that's what makes getting that five-star so exciting. Again, we'll see whether... I guarantee his genetics are going to be garbage. Absolutely. 34%. So we will collect him. I almost said taxidermy. Of course not. So yeah, we'll continue the hunt out here. And continue doing what we're doing. But maybe we'll come across something... Uh, maybe trophy lodge worthy? Let's go. Let's get into this. All right, got some lions out here, and here's another perfect example of why you want to thin these herds when you see them like this. A one-star adult, two-star mature, a one-star mature, and I believe there's a young one, yeah. I know, another adult one-star. He's the young one, so we obviously don't want to touch him, but any of these other guys here, we can take out. I mean, I guess I'll go after the two-star mature if I can, but again, any of these you want to get out of here soon as you can because let me zero right see if we can get a shot on his chest and she's going to come charging and I don't have bullets I don't have bullets that's what happens when you're not prepared Oh, too many times it's happened to me. Those lions just love me. We should always have enough ammo in your in your gun. All right, let's go back there and see if we can find him. And see if we got a good shot on him. Came back up to where I thought the lions might be. That I just shot at. I came across these guys. This may be the same pride. That just spooked out here because it seems like they're similar. And that is the two star mature. So I'll know. I'm going to take a shot on him. And if I know he was shot twice, then I know it was the guy that I. Yeah. Yeah. Put, put bullets in a gun. It helps. And he is about 256 yards. So we have to zero a little bit better. We're coming down here a little bit more. I'm pretty confident these are the ones I just shot at. So let's see if we can take a shot on him. I could be wrong, but let's see. And that is a lot of blood, so he's going to go down. Let's make sure nothing comes at us. Doesn't look like it. This guy's just sitting there doing nothing. But he is going to go down for sure, which he did. I'll just put a quick marker down here. I will go check that out, and I'm curious to see if that's the one I just shot when I got killed. All right, coming up here to collect them, and... I had to guess, I want to say it is the same one I just shot, but let's see. Yes, it is. So he was shot twice. So yeah, he is 
So I'm guessing the first shot was not going to kill him. It was just a lot of flesh and a tiny, tiny bit of the right lung. So yeah, he would have survived that shot. And if I can go here, the second shot was heart, left lung, and right lung. So that, that was actually the fatal one. But let's see what his genetics was. 53%. So absolutely a good one to take out of that pride. And that's what you got to keep doing. It's just keep going around this map and taking out what you can. Hopefully you get those good genetics in the, in the herds and in the pride. So let's continue out here and see what else we can find. Okay, we found ourselves a nice sized herd of buffalo up here. And if anybody's been watching my videos, buffalo by far are the easiest five stars to get. Because of the amount of animals in the herd, they seem to make five star real easy. And here's a I probably there you go. There's a perfect example. Here's a three star adult. I mean he's almost guaranteed. And nothing's guaranteed, but he's just about guaranteed. He's a very good chance of becoming a five star. So we would never touch him in a million years, but we have a one-star adult here. I'd like to maybe thin this herd out. That's what you got to do. It's just take out the bad ones, and we will zero in this guy. We'll take him out. Uh, he didn't like that too much, did he? Oh, he didn't like it either. All right. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. It's nothing you can do. You you can't get away from three of them. Oh boy. I love it though. That's what make this game fun. Well, I actually do know where I was. So I want to go back there and check him and see if he actually went down. All right, I found the herd. They're over here. I do see some blood, but I see something a little weird up here. I think. This guy died <laughs> standing up. Okay. I know they did say they were having a lot of glitches about when animal when you get killed by an animal that you kill. But, yep, there he is. So this one might be one of the coolest pictures I can ever get. Because who can say they <laughs> that they got a picture? Next to that buffalo. Up beside that. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Let's take a picture of that. And let's claim this guy. And... <clears throat> artery, right lung. Oh, that was a female. So she, I don't, I don't even remember shooting a female unless that was the one I shot by accident instead of the one star. But anyway, we'll collect her. And that was interesting. So we'll get out of here and see what else we can find. Unless we, I see another blood trail out that way. I don't I think it's the same animal. I have no idea what's going on here. But wait a minute. What the, what the hell is going on here? So I shot the female in the... Wow. Well, this is interesting. This is definitely going to be the most exciting one-star and female buffalo that I've ever shot in video. And, yeah, this one looks like it just <laughs> died in its tracks, too. Standing up. Wow. Wow. That's on, and this is the male. Okay, so this is the this is the guy that I had shot. Wow, that's crazy. I think I like that one better. Yeah, I like that one better. All right, let's collect this guy and let's go out here and try to get some real hunting done. And he was a one star adult, seventy four percent genetic, so he was a good one to take out. All right, let's get out of here and see if we can find ourselves worthy of something to put in the trophy lodge. Well, this is something I was not expecting. I remember I had checked on this guy a while back, and I had forgotten about him. And I remember I put a marker here, so I'm going to go check. And I can't believe this, but finally we have ourselves 
a five-star hyena. He's a lone male at this lake, but these guys have given me more problems. Killing that. They are just so tough. You have got to make a per... He knows I'm here. So I'm going to be careful here. These guys are so tough to kill, in my opinion. It could be me. Most likely it is because I can't figure out exactly how to shoot them. But it seems like every time I shoot one, they survive. But we got to just be patient here. There he goes. He's going to turn. I believe they are class 5, I believe. So we'll get out our class 5 rifle. And I think we're zeroed right now. We're going to try to take him in the lung. This would be absolutely incredible. Perfect shot. Oh, God. Let me see. Right about there. And that's going to be a lot of blood. He's going to go down. I can see it from there. So it looks like we have ourselves our first five-star hyena. Let's go track this guy down, and we'll be back to see what he is. All right, as you can see, he did not go far at all. This is the, we shot him from up there. And you can see the blood splatter over here, and he is laying right there. So he did not go far at all. That was the best shot on a hyena I had, and no better time to have it. So let's go check him. What is going on here? Oh, of course, he's like that. You know, we have to get at least try to get a picture with him. See what, what see what it looks like. And that's not going to be the best. Not going to be the best view, view at all because his, his head is at the ground. But we'll take it. Anyway, we'll pop out of here. Let's claim this guy. It was a heart shot. Okay, so barely got the heart. Left lung, artery, and heart. As you can see in their body... Uh, I have a tendency to shoot back from that front leg, and it always seems to miss the lung, but they still will run a lot, even when you hit them. So let's take a look at this guy, our first five-star hyena. And he is absolutely awesome. They did, they did a great job on these things. There he is. Awesome. So we're going to go back, and we're going to taxidermy that. You know, that's going in our lodge. And I, I could not be more excited about that. I've been wanting a five-star or something else besides a buffalo or kudu. So, finally got it. So, I think that's a perfect way to end the video today. Hope everybody enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. I would appreciate it. And, but until next time, everybody, stay safe.